ففروا إلى الله إني لكم منه نذير مبين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على رسول الكريم سيدنا محمد مصطفى صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم وده جل سبحانه وتعالى for his mercies upon us we beseech him to save us from the from the whispering of Shaitan the accursed we now have it still in the affairs of our lives we beseech the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on his noble messenger our prophet our teacher the leader of leaders Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa his household his companions and all those that um, tread this part of the day of Yom al my dear honorable listeners we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for bringing us in contact with Ramadan we've been praying for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to see Ramadan Ramadan is here, he's already counting. We thank him, we pray that you give us good deeds daring and accept it from us as an act of Ibadah. Uh, what we are going to be interacting with today is beyond the dunya. And uh, it behoves every man to ask ourselves basic questions. Where do we come from? Where are we? Why are we here? What are we supposed to be doing? People die and leave. Where do they go to? No one has ever lived in this world everlasting. So, it is very pertinent. Is the death the end of the journey? What happens after death? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided us through the Quran, his revelations to the Prophet, the last of it all, by making us to realize that he created all humans and all things. Everything in existence are creatures of Allah. In Surah Sajida verse 4, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us, Allah is He who created the heavens and the earth and all that is in between them. Is it the sun, the moon, the seas and the ocean, the animals, the sky and every other thing? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made us realize that as human we need to reason, we need to ask ourselves questions. He said it in Surah to uh, Imran, Quran chapter 3, verse 190 to 191. When he first said, Allah will be some words, well, Allah will be sharing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Lord of everything. That is, he has, and he has power over everything. He's the moon, he's the king of everything. And he was telling us that we should apply our reasoning so that we don't use our life uselessly by telling us that in the Fikaruki Sama words, well, Allah, in the creation of the heavens and the earth, but the love and the heart and the alteration of the day and the night, those are signs for people who have reason, who have their reasons, who can think, who can ask questions. And grown Those who are whether they are standing, they are sitting, they are lying down, they do ask themselves and say to themselves, This world is not created for nothing. So definitely. No one does anything for nothing. So it's going to be a stupid thing for us to think that we are, we are created or we just existed by chance and we are not doing, being here for anything. Man, as we are known, Allah made us to realize that we are created solely for the sake of worship. One man called it a general ins in a year. So the, our purpose of creation is, Allah said, we have not created neither men and jinn except for the purpose of worship. We are here to worship. And that means all our worship, everything that we do, encompasses what is called worship. All the affairs of our lives, from the morning till night, from the day we are born to the day we die. Whatever we do is considered to be worship. So hence, it's not a joint on us to do good others. So, of course, what is then the purpose of when we worship? What are we seeking for? So the purpose of the worship is to seek the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the worldly life is to seek the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that was why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in the Surah Al-Mulk. Allah the Quran called Mulk wa al-Haya li yablu wa kum wa yukum wa ksana amra. He has created death and life. In between the two is what we have, as, is why we are existing. Why did he do that? He did that just because he wants to know which one of us is ready to do good deeds. 
who will straight to worship. Which one of us will be obedient to him? And by so doing, he made us that our one has his own food. He is the Almighty and he is all forgiving. So our goal should be the hereafter. We are supposed to leave this world to seek the hereafter. If this is not the permanent place, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us in Christ chapter 6, verse 32, that the life of this world is nothing but play and amusement. But for the better is the house of the hereafter for those who are believers. Will you then understand? That is to tell us that our existence here is not permanent. We are here to spend some time just like a student go to school, learn and get some certificate, do some exams, get some certificate and get out. It's not a permanent place. And that's exactly what this life of this world is made for us. قُلْ إِنَّ الْمَوْتَ الَّذِي تَفِرُّونَ مِنْهُ فَإِنَّهُ مُلَاقِيكُمْ ثُمَّ تُرَدُّونَ إِلَىٰ عَالِمِ الْغَيْبِ وَالشَّهَادَةِ فَيُنَبِّئُكُمْ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَعْمَلُونَ In Quran chapter 57 verse 20, Allah made us to realize that life here is likened to play and amusement as well. And he made us to know what are those things that we spend our life, time achieving. He made us to realize that we do poems and pageantries or mutual boasting among ourselves, about mutual rivalries among ourselves, with respect to our wife and our children, with respect to what we have. And those are just the glitterings of this world. But at the end of the day, all of them will end one day. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, what's in the hereafter? There is a severe punishment for the disbelievers, and there is good pleasure and paradise for the believers, the doers of good. So hence, the believer would not say, as some people say, and I last one time I could tell them that Rabban Atini and Fidini and Hassanan, Wafil Akhirati, then come back. Oh, and I give us the best of this world. But when it comes to the health, you can do whatever you like. But the believer will say, Rabban Atini and Fidini and Hassanan, Oh Allah, give us the good of this world and the good of the hereafter and save us from the punishment of the hellfire. And that is why it's, we shouldn't do anything in this world to acquire whatever is worthy here simply because, or we cut corners just because we want to acquire what is here. What is here is not everlasting. If we don't leave it, it will leave us. So we need to mind our ways in this world. So that we we'll we we'll get the good pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the hereafter. And that's why the Prophet likened this world to a, 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 a lump that died. Just very small animal. It was passing by and they saw it on a trash ground. And they asked the companions, which among you would take this animal? And the companion looked at themselves, what are we going to do with it? Number one is, is, is not matured. Number two is dead. What do you want to do with it? And the person said, that is the madness of these words. It's not something that we then spend our time, do everything recklessly um, to acquire material. We want to be houses, we want to have cars, we want to have positions, we want to have all of this. At the end of the day, none of it follows us into our graves. So we need to be conversant of this. We need to be careful of it. And then look into our affairs of this world and see and make sure that we are not going beyond the bounds such that at the end of the day we will be considered among those that will pass and not those that will fail. We will be considered among those that will be liable to life in paradise, not liable to life in the hellfire. Of course, the grave itself is a home on its own. And then we should realize that living here is very short. It's a very short time, whether we like it or not. And um, you know, one of us, Muhammad wa Ta'ala, was comparing a day with him. The day of judgment that some of us do this part and say, when is it? Is it just one day? And he, the, the, that Lord will use that one day to judge all of us that are human beings. And that's Muhammad wa Ta'ala told us several verses of the Quran. In one verse, he said, that singular day with Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala is like your 50,000 years. On another one, he said that singular day is maybe like a thousand years. So we shouldn't deceive ourselves and think that our life here is very, very 
uh, is, 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 is going to be elaborate. And we should reasonably acquire part of our land here and be, make a very big savings for whatever we're going to have in the hair. And that's why that's one thing I told you to have lots of people around and say, yeah, you're in the dinner, I'm going to talk with you. Or times when also call them a bigger type of land, and I can be a bit more time. Or you will believe, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and save something for your tomorrow. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what is, what is in your breast and whatever you think of. But tomorrow is not a day, the tomorrow that is here, or the tomorrow of our earthly life. It is the tomorrow of our grief, the tomorrow of our day of judgment, the tomorrow that we are either in paradise or in hellfire. So we have to work here to acquire those things at the end of the day. Whatever we do, Mama Yaman we call another routine. Hyra, yeah. Mama Yaman we call another routine. Shara, yeah. If you do small good deeds, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you the reward. If you do evil, even if it is as small as a seed of the mustard, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you your reward. Nothing passes except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is taking note of it. So we should, as believers, always have in mind uh, paradise. So this should keep us doing good and thereby connecting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always. And that is why what Ramadan has come to remind us. Connecting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Kutiba alaykum siyam. Kamu kutiba ala ladina min kodrikum. La ala kontaktakum. We should, fasting has been enjoined on us. As has been enjoined on the people before us. So that we be in air of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This month is a month of training for us to know that we are working to remind us of our purpose of creation, to remind us of our duties to ourselves, to remind us of doing good deeds, to remind us to keep away from evil, so that at the end of the day, we will meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, because we say it, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make us part of those who we welcome, and say, as inmates of paradise. وكتبه ورسوله واليوم